Hey, best friend. Girl, what you doing? Hey, the best squad. It's your girl, Ebony, the best guy. So, listen. I know I haven't talked about Sweet Tea. And listen, I'm, I'm like, she already know. I'm her number one fan, okay? But y'all know and heard what's been going on, what Carlos King said about her um, and her respond to what was said. But let me go ahead and read what was said, and then I'm going to come back with a little bit more commentary because you know what? Yeah, Carlos, yeah, I think you got a little scared. Let me let you guys hear what Sweetie had said. So this guy's was on Twitter or X, whatever you want to call it now. How are you a producer of own network, but speaking on woman's medical condition, you reduced yourself to a fool and a blogger. It's time to humble the fake blank wannabe Andy Cohen. Hashtag married to medicine, hashtag own, hashtag Oprah Winfrey. So baby, I don't know what got into him. And guys, I don't want to play the clip here, but if you go over by trending at some point, she did a content about it today. I did not ask her permission. I don't think I can DM her, but um, I didn't ask her, so I'm not going to use it. But apparently, he said something to the effect that Sweet Tea need to not worry about quad, but something about she should be she should have a list. I don't know. I don't want to lie, but go over the trending. It's over there. I don't want to play the clip because, like I said, I did not ask permission. However, baby, I had to DM Sweet Tea for a minute and be like, listen, is it only me or did you see it too that the clown has removed the video because he was being dragged? Like, how dare you speak on women and what they should have done, especially when they're having a fertility issue? You're disgusting. Yeah, okay, we understand. You don't like the PP. You don't like it, and that's fine. But to always constantly talking down on women and how the what you used to say, oh, when women get elevated, they leave their husband. Like, what do you know? You don't like the JJ. So why are you so focused on women? And what they like and what they don't like. And to say such an insensitive comment like, duh, you're not, sweetie is not the only woman in the, in this entire world that is experiencing this. And for you to say something like that, Carlos, is very insensitive. And I'm glad you, the, 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 the females or wherever, the comment section of, of wherever you let, said that thing, cause now the video is gone, um, dragged you for filth. I'm glad it happened. Anyway, um, so while Sweetie was on live, they asked her questions about the reunion. And guys, stay tuned. Um, they asked questions about Heavenly. And Heavenly, I am appalled at your behavior. I cannot believe that you're still working. You violated every HIPAA privacy law there is. And like I said to Sweetie, I don't know if they might have signed some type of a contract where they can't sue, where they can't do anything, but for Heavenly, and I know you're just a dentist, but there's still privacy HIPAA law that applies to you just as how it applies to a nurse uh, a, a, or a doctor or, or anyone in the medical field, right? So this is what was asked of um, Sweet Tea. Like I said, I don't know who the person is, but they were like, you know, what is the tea on Damien Jr.? Is Dr. Heavenly um, mean whatever and hasn't spilled her tea? She loves to tear the other woman down and hold her business close to her chest. Will anyone mention that at the reunion? So Sweetie replied, it was brought up at the reunion and I don't believe her excuse she made up for it. That lady hiding something and don't want to come out with the truth. We are still looking weird with the excuse she made up. So I don't know what's going on with her son, but apparently she was asked about it at the reunion. Like I said, I haven't even fully finished watching um, Marriage to Medicine 
I've been super busy, but again, Dr. Heavenly, you are the worst of the worst. And I don't know if you're doing all this for TV or you're just this hype and you know, you, you still got that excitement in you, but baby, you already on TV, you already put 10 years in, calm down and learn to be respectful of people. This is crazy, but you know, I'm glad it was taken down. I don't know if somebody put some fire under Carlos. He needs to be fired. He needs to be fired because we're sick of him. We're actually literally at this point sick of him. My personal opinion is Carlos used the Melometers. He did. He talked about this podcast that he was, that he's doing, right? And it's been over a month since he did the podcast with Melody and had everybody. And it was sold out twice. It was sold out twice. Carlos knows the fan base that Melody has and what he did. Why Melody first? Why did you choose Melody first? Why not Kimmy? Letitia, who you baby so much. Marceau, the Scots, any one of the Scots. But because you know Melody's fan base would 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 have would have sold out the way it did, right? Because we're we're a true supporter of Melody. We are. So you used us to put your podcast, but you know what? All eyes on you now because we want to see the next person you're going to bring up that from Love and Marriage Huntsville that will sold out like it did with Melody. Guys, I am sick of him. I am at this point. I don't watch bold, whatever, bold and bougie. I have nothing to do with cartel, Mark, um, Carlos content. And that's on period. So I don't know who Jonelle is with, um, I think with Upscale. She was at the Bold and Bougie premiere um, with these people. And um, she was asking, you know, Carlos several questions. They were dumb, if you ask me. And she went in to ask him about people wanting coleslaw on the show. And he, his whole face expression had changed. But I'm going to let you guys hear what she said and what his response was. Like, girl... Nobody wants coleslaw on this show. Nobody. Where you get that lie from? Well, I know one person that I, I don't get do. in love with. I, I bet you and do. We want her on film, Ariana Carey. Uh huh. We want her on camera. Okay. You gonna do it? That's not my. That's not my. Uh, that's not what you do. That's not. My, uh, that's not my job to make that happen. But your job, you you run everything. You are the king it's, of the kingdom. Am kingdom the, Ray. Am I the king of the network? Well, uh, yeah, I think you are the boss of them. Oh, no, I'm not, baby. <laughs> no, I'm not. It, 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 no, I'm not, baby. Oh, no, that's, that's what right. I'm I do not have. Oh, yeah, that's Oprah. That's, um, yeah, okay. Yeah. I, like I said, I don't know who she is, but um, he's making it clear again. She will never be on that show, okay? Has nothing to do with Oprah. Has nothing to do with anybody but Melody's show. She's not going to come and profit and eat from Melody's table after what she did. So, Jonelle, um, yeah, that's, that's dead. Anyway, guys, oh, people just hurt me. Don't forget to hit that like, comment, subscribe button. I'll talk to y'all later. She just ruined my night.